traveling to Puerto Rico and don't know what places to go to? I got you, you're in the right place. I will be recommending the top best eight places that are worth visiting here in Puerto Rico. I'm a local and I have been to these places and I personally love them, so I'm sharing it with you. And most of these places I have done a video of, so I'm gonna link them below. So the first place you're going to is the town of Cabo Rojo. And this is my favorite, not just because that's where I grew up and my family's there and that's where I have a house, but it's because it's such a lovely town with so much to offer. So you're gonna go to Los Morillos Lighthouse. And yeah, it's nice to see the lighthouse but you're gonna go there because the cliff that it's on is so breathtaking the views there just amazing impressive and right under that cliff you can see the beach and you could go to that beach which is one of the most beautiful beaches of the entire Puerto Rico it's called Playa Sucia or Playuela it has those two names and also right around there there's Puente Piedra which is a rock formation that looks like a bridge you can take impressive pictures there of the sunset said there's a little beach there the rock formation is just everything is beautiful so you can enjoy that and also right there you can go to the pink flats which is a body of water that is pink and just so you know Cabo Rojo is known to be the capital of tourism for our locals when we have like a 4th of July or we want to leave the metro area or you want to leave your town a lot of people go to Cabo Rojo to the beaches there so just a fun fact about Cabo Rojo just so you know I won't be focused Focusing on mentioning beaches on this list because it will take up the whole list pretty much I'm focusing on just regular places and if there's a beach around there then I'll mention it but I'm gonna do a separate video of the top beaches you should visit in Puerto Rico so stay tuned for that next go further up to the town of San Sebastián in San Sebastián there are a few waterfalls but the one I'm recommending is called Gozalandia this one is easy to get to there's parking and not just one waterfall you get two waterfalls so you can make a left see a waterfall you can make a right and see another waterfall so you can walk to both one is nicer than the other one of course there you can swing from a rope you can throw yourself from rocks carefully of course and if the weather permits you can swim you can take pictures enjoy nature enjoy the walk it's pet friendly kid friendly the path is pretty easy so it's just a beautiful natural place there's other waterfalls like I said in San Sebastian but those might have like a little bit more of a hike or they're hidden but this one is just easy access so I totally recommend it now I do want to warn you if you're going to any of these natural bodies of water please be very careful if it has rained a lot or it's raining I don't recommend you go because there has been a lot of tragedies so please do not go if there's bad weather I had to sit down because I was getting a little bit tired but next you are heading deeper into the mountains of Puerto Rico to like the central area of the island you are heading to the town of Utuado the place I'm recommending in Utuado is called Cañón Blanco which is White Canyon and this is a very unique beautiful place that it's just worth risking your life for <laughs> just kidding but really I mean it's challenging to get there because the roads are like this like like up down like it's just like the curves are insane the road conditions are not that great but it's totally worth it just be very careful this is a very unique experience that you should just live it what's so special about this place is the rock formation and its color you're gonna see like water and then rocks and it's just beautiful and then the background like the backdrop is like mountains greenery it's just the skies it's just beautiful to look at so I just totally recommend this place for the uniqueness this place is not just unique because of the scenery but it also has a natural pool that you can get in there and swim and it's it's so cool but when I went it was green you know that green stuff that grows like in the water so I really didn't feel comfortable going in I think I went up to my thighs but I didn't really go deep in and there's this place called El Sofa which is like a couch the rock formation made like a couch I couldn't get there because everything was slimy to get there I just didn't go but I'm sure at certain points of the year it gets cleared up and you can go in fine just go to this canyon because it's amazing now heading a bit up north to the coast you're gonna go to the town of Arecibo now now there are tons of places that you can visit in Arecibo that are nice but I'm gonna tell you these four places that are all together there is a cave a cliff with ocean views arches with ocean views and a beach 
all that in one place. Now that cave is not easy to get in there, okay? It's called Cueva del Indio. And I went in there thanks to content creator and tour guide, Tongo PR. And I was filming that day, so I had to do it. I faced my fears, cause I'm a little bit claustrophobic. And I went in there, he helped me navigate the cave. There was a natural jacuzzi. It was scary, but it was such an amazing experience. And just the surroundings there are so breathtaking. And Arecibo has has tons of other beaches you can go to. The one there is pretty nice and it has like a posita on the other side. So you can venture out and visit other beaches. Now let's head to the capital of Puerto Rico, which is San Juan. When you go to San Juan, you must go to old San Juan. I mean, if you don't go there, you have not been to Puerto Rico. Just kidding, but you should go there. Old San Juan is like the oldest town and it's so beautiful. You need to go to the fort. The fort, you can pay to go in and see all the history, but I have never paid and gone in there, just so you know. <laughs> I just stay outside and enjoy the scenery outside of the fort, but you can pay and go in if you want to. And another thing you should do is walk the streets of Old San Juan. I always recommend this because the beautiful buildings, the colorful buildings, just the stores, the local things that you see there, just walk around the cobblestone streets, it's just filled with history and it just screams Puerto Rico culture when you're walking around Old San Juan. So I totally recommend you go to the fort and walk the streets of Old San Juan. One thing I want to suggest is if you can, if it's not too stressful, you can arrive at one airport and depart from another airport. Like that, you get to go to all these towns around it. Not too far from Old San Juan, you're gonna go to La Placita de Santurce, which is in San Juan. La Placita de Santurce is a farmer's market by day and by night, is a street party, okay? So you're gonna see people dancing in the middle of the street, singing, bands, eating, drinking, having a good time. This place is pretty much a look into our culture when it comes to nightlife. Basically, this is our nightlife that you need to experience, so do not skip this one. I do have a bonus for you. If you like shopping, you can go to Plaza Las Americas in San Juan. That is the largest mall in the Caribbean, okay? So you can head to Plaza Las Americas. We also have a luxury mall, like if you want Gucci and stuff like that, you can go to the Mall of San Juan. So if you love shopping, head to Plaza Las Americas or the Mall of San Juan. Next, you need to head east to the town of Rio Grande. And in Rio Grande, you're heading to the National Rainforest called El Junque, which is a very important place, not just for us in Puerto Rico, but for the whole world. This rainforest is actually so big, it's not just in Rio Grande, it covers other towns around it as well. So if you are a nature person, you have to go to El Junque. There are waterfalls that you can see or get into. There's rivers, mountain views, there's animals that you can pretty much hear, or if you get lucky, you can see them. There's hiking trails, nature trails, just so much to sees. Oh, and just so you know, there might be rain in the rainforest, so just be prepared. Not too far from Rio Grande, you're heading to the town of Fajardo. And in Fajardo, you're going to go to this place called La Sanja, which is like the ditch. I know it sounds funky, but La Sanja is a natural pool and it's very unique. You do need to walk like a 45 minute hike. It's not difficult. It's not super easy, but it's, it's okay. And you have to cross through the beach and some plants and paths and more plants and you eventually get there. There's a cliff and then you can see the pool down there and it's just beautiful. A unique pool that is clear, you can see the ocean. You do need water shoes to get in because it is very rocky, so it hurts your feet. So if you're a nature person, you should go to La Sanja because of the views, the natural pool, if you like hiking. It's a very tranquil place. You don't need to go to all these places, but you go to the places that, you know, depending on where you're staying, your taste, and what kind of activities you like to do, if you're a nature person or a hiking person. So you decide which of these places is the best for you. One more content about Puerto Rico. I have a whole list of videos and vlogs and informational videos about Puerto Rico. I'm a local and I personally... No, 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 no. That's... Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Cosalandia? No. Ya empecé mal. Ah, fuck. 
I always say it backwards. One of those two, the Mall of San Juan, the San Juan Mall, they all sound correct to me or incorrect. <laughs> so if you haven't had enough of me, you can watch this video next.